Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today this video is going to look a lot different than uh, most of my other videos. It's basically just a vlog. Um, there's really not a whole lot going on in the, the movie room right now because I'm working on packing up, but um, I really wanted to film this video for my friend Chill Pilgrim. Uh, he's doing a contest right now, and honestly, I'm really not even concerned with the contest. Uh, don't really care that much about winning it. I just thought that this was a really cool topic, and I wanted to show some support to my friend. Uh, Chill Pilgrim's a really cool guy. He's got um, an awesome collection, and Chewie's right behind me. She's meowing. What are you meowing about, huh? This video is about me, not you. Yeah? You talk too much. You're not supposed to talk like that in the middle of a video, Chewie. Alright, you're going to get kicked out of the room. All right, just for a little bit, you can come back in. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Ah, all right, guys. Sorry about that. But, um, yeah, so this video is going to be about, about the history of my movie collecting. Um... And I thought this was just a really cool topic, something that I was interested in. I'm, I'm actually going to go right after I'm done filming this and check out all the other video responses that he has so far because I think it's just, you know, something that's interesting to learn about people who you like watching. Um, so let me just get started and I'll try to think of everything about my collection that I can right off the top of my head because this is just going to be a vlog. Um, yeah, so I started, well, let's just go back all the way. Uh, when I was a kid, my family was um, pretty... We were kind of low income, so we we n didn't have a VCR until probably about 1993 or 1994, I want to say. Probably 93. And um, so I used to remember um, on the weekends when my family would rent a movie, um, we would go to the, the video store and we would rent a, like a VHS or two. But then we'd also have to rent the VCR itself because we just didn't own one. Uh, I remember several times renting the VCR, and then I remember again one time when our first VCR broke. We had someone give us a used VCR, and it broke, and then I remember renting one again at that time. And then finally we got a nice new one, which lasted for a long time. Actually, I think my dad still has it. I think he still uses it. But, um, yeah, so the first uh, VHS that I remember we, we owned were, um, well, the ones that I always watched over and over again were E.T. and Stand By Me. And, um, what else? There was, like, a couple other ones. But those ones mainly we just watched over and over again, especially E.T. I swear I killed that VHS. I must have ruined it. <clears throat> I watched it so many times. I love that film. That's why I love it to this day. It just reminds me of my childhood. That was the movie that I always wanted to watch. And it just never got old. But then, um, I remember uh, DVDs started coming out. We never really had a big collection of VHS. We probably had, like, 20 or so that my family had, just, you know, family movies, Disney movies, stuff like that, but then when DVDs came out, I was getting, I was getting to the point where I was in, like, 7th or 8th grade, when they were starting to become a little bit affordable, they were still, like, $25, but, um, that was kind of affordable, I guess, um, but anyways, I remember that I got a Columbia House account, and I actually bought four movies, because you could get four movies for really cheap, and then you had to buy more, but I ended up getting, um, Mission Impossible 2, which just came out. It was a brand new release. I got Gone in 60 Seconds, and then I got two Star Trek movies. And I gave two of those movies to my dad for Christmas or his birthday or something, and then the other two I had. So those were the first DVDs I bought. But actually, I forgot to tell you, my dad actually was the one that bought the first DVD in our family. He bought The Matrix. He, bought, he had seen The Matrix on um, one of the movie channels when there was like a free weekend of the movie channel. I don't remember what channel it was. Maybe Showtime. And he so he bought that. He bought The Matrix and he bought a DVD player at the same time. So that was the first DVD that, that we owned. And then I bought those other ones for him. And I think I bought him Red Planet too. I bought that used and it was like $13. And I thought that was just an amazing deal. And that movie's just, I mean, it's okay. But I used to like it a lot more back then. So then um, uh, I got a few more DVDs over the years. Like um, when I graduated from high school, I my grandma gave me $100 and... I spent it all on DVDs. I bought um, Mystic River, which I actually paid $20 for that DVD. And I bought uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And I think a couple other ones. I just can't... I, I'm not sure exactly which ones they were. 
so I can't tell you off the top of my head. But I once I got a job, I got a I got a job like almost immediately when I graduated high school. I actually moved out as pretty much as soon as I graduated. Um, I was 17 years old and I moved out of my parents' house, and um, so I was working in this job, this construction job, and I, I had some money. So I used to go to Blockbuster, and they had a deal that was three for 25. You could get three movies for 25 bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Sometimes I didn't have a lot of money, so I would split with my friend. I would buy two, and he would buy one so that we could get the deal, or sometimes he would buy two, and I would buy one. So I built that collection up to about a little less than 300 movies, and I was pretty proud of that collection. I wish I took some pictures of it just so I could remember what I had, but um, I ended up deciding that uh, there was a bunch of factors that factored into me leaving that job, but I decided to leave that job, and... Uh, one of the main things was I wanted to go on a missions trip. And that's a story for another day. But going on that missions trip changed my life. I mean, I, I have to tell you guys about it because it's just, it's a really cool story. And uh, I think you would enjoy hearing it, but I'll tell you another time. Uh, but anyways, so I was in between jobs and I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to have enough money. So I just went on eBay and then listed all my movies on there and I sold them all. So I had no collection. I was like, okay, I guess... I just I'm just not gonna collect anymore, and it turned out like a week or two after that I got a new a new job the job that I have now and I've I've been there for six years now over six years, so um, I really didn't need to sell my collection so I was I was still like you know I'm just not gonna buy movies because what's the point I don't have a collection anymore. Well that Christmas which was a few months after I got my job it was like actually four or five months after um, my whole family it seemed like. They all bought me movies. I remember uh, some of them were really stupid. Like I got the, the Fantastic Four, uh, the Rise of the Silver Surfer, and like some stuff like that. But I also got some good ones. Uh, my parents bought me The Burbs, uh, which is a movie I love with Tom Hanks, and uh, what else? A couple other ones. Oh, um, Big. My mom got me Big, so I got those. And then I was like, okay, maybe I'll start collecting again because I had about a dozen. And it took me about a year, and I had built it up to about. No, a couple hundred. And then, um, you guys can see back at the time when I started this channel, I actually had about 300 again. And at that point, I was I was in the mindset that I was only going to keep 300 movies because that's exactly what fit on the shelf I had. And then if I had any extra, I would just sell the ones that I liked the least and buy new ones. Like, I would buy new ones to replace them of better movies. But then I came across like YouTube collectors and stuff, and it really just piques my interest in collecting. So I, I, so I bought some movies that I probably normally wouldn't have bought just to watch them so that I could make videos because I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I saw some other YouTubers and I thought, man, this is really cool. So that's kind of what sparked me, my collection to grow quite significantly. It's actually grown to about 1,800 to 2,000 movies. And that's crazy because I've had my account for about three years. So my my collection has probably quadrupled in size uh, since since I started. Actually, more than that. It's it's grow it's multiplied by like six. Yeah, it's multiplied by six. So that's crazy, and it's all because of YouTube, basically. Uh, I started collecting Blu-rays uh, right shortly, about maybe three or four months after I started the channel. And the first Blu-rays I bought were. I bought them all at the same time. I actually bought a PS3 to coincide with the release of um, the new Star Trek movie on Blu-ray because I had started to watch some Blu-rays at my friend's house and I had also just recently got an HD TV of my own and I was like, man, I want to start watching movies on Blu-ray now. So, And I love that movie in the theater, so I was like, okay, th I want this to be my first Blu-ray because you know, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. So I bought the 2009 Star Trek movie and then I also bought Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the 30th anniversary set, which is to this day one of my favorite Blu-rays. The best value Blu-ray that I've ever bought, and it's just an amazing addition. And then I also bought uh, Donnie Darko, which is another science fiction film that I like. I just bought that one because it was really cheap, and I, I was actually surprised at how cheap it was at the time. So yeah, so now I have probably like 400 Blu-rays and like, I don't know, maybe 13, 1400 DVDs, something like that. Or actually, probably more than that, probably 1,600 DVDs, but yeah. So that's pretty much the history of my collection. Um, thanks, Chill Pilgrim, for inspiring me to make a video about this topic. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.